Now, in this question is asking for the following reactions, equilibrium constants are given. Sulfur plus oxygen in equilibrium with SO2, the equilibrium constant K1 is equal to 10 to the power 52. Next reaction, twice S plus thrice O2 in equilibrium with twice SO3 and the equilibrium constant is given that is equal to K2 is equal to 10 to the power 129 and the equilibrium constant for the reaction third he is asking and the third reaction is twice SO2 plus O2 is in equilibrium with twice SO3 is four options are given to us and we have to select the correct option let's start the solution Now, if you see the reaction, in this reaction, sulfur is not present, right? But in both those reactions, here sulfur is there, here also sulfur is present, right? So, what we have to do, we have to eliminate the sulfur somehow so that we can reach to our correct answer, right? So, let us rewrite the equation number 1. And I am writing the equation without writing their physical state. So, the first equation will be S plus O2 in equilibrium with SO2. And the equilibrium constant K1 is given 10 to the power, it is 52, right? So, this is the first equation right now to eliminate sulfur what we have to do here there is one mole of sulfur if we talk about the stoichiometric coefficient the stoichiometric coefficient of the sulfur is 1 and here the stoichiometric coefficient of sulfur is 2 so what we can do we can reverse the first equation and then multiply by 2 and then add we will get the desired equation. Let us do that. So, multiplying equation number 1 by and reverse it. So, what we will get? We will get twice of SO2 because we are multiplying by 2 also that is in equilibrium with twice S plus twice O2 and the value of the equilibrium constant, let us say k dash, that will be equal to, now we are reversing it, since we are reversing that 10 to the power 52 will become 10 to the power minus 52 and since we are multiplied by 2 also, so the value of the k dash will become 10 to the power minus 104. So, let us assume this is the equation number 2, right. So, our next equation is this one. Let us write this equation. Now, the given equation is twice S plus thrice O2 thrice O2 in equilibrium with twice SO3 and the equilibrium K2 is equal to 10 to the power 129, 129. So, let us assume this is the equation number 3. Now, let us add them. 
after adding what will happen sulfur and sulfur will cancel out and here it is 3 mole of O2 there 1 2 mole of O2 that is why 1 mole of O2 will be remaining and we will get the reaction. SO2 or you can say that twice SO2 plus 3 minus 2 that is 1 O2 in equilibrium with twice SO3 and since we are adding these two equation the equilibrium constants will be multiplied. So, the new equilibrium constant say it is k3 that will be equal to k1 dash multiplied by k2 and what is the value of k1 dash k1 dash is 10 to the power minus 104 so it is 10 to the power minus 104 multiplied by k2 k2 is 10 to the power 129 and 129 minus 104 is equal to 10 to the power 25. So, this is the final answer let us check in which option it is given to us. So, this is our correct answer it is answer number 2 right. Let us move on to the next question. Well, in this question he is asking consider the BCC unit cells of the solids 1 and 2 with the position of the atoms as shown below. So, these are the two unit cells are given. The radius of the atom B is twice that of atom A. The unit cell edge length is 50 percent more in solid 2 than in A what is the approximate packing efficiency in the solid 2? Let us start solving the question. So, the solution will be solution. Now, first we have to know that what we actually know about BCC. So, this is the normal BCC in the solid 1 right where all the atoms A are having the same radius. So, we all know that this is the body diagonal and if the edge length is A then this is root 3 A the length of the body diagonal is root 3 A right. So, the relationship we get from here is 4 r is equal to root 3 a this is our first equation r is the radius of the atom and a is the edge length ok. Now, we know that the rank of BCC is 2 means the total number of atoms occupied by that particular unit cell is equal to 2. Therefore, the volume of the sphere or the volume of the atom volume of atoms which is occupied that is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 upon 3 pi r cube right. Now, there is a change in the second unit cell. In the second unit cell, the atom B is having the double radius of that of A means the radius of the A atom in the previous one was R in this case it is 2 R. So, what will happen? If we draw this body diagonal in this case we can say that so r 
प्लस फोर आर प्लस आर इज इक्वल टू द लेंथ ऑफ द बॉडी डायगनल रूट थ्री ए डैश राइट सो वट इज आर आर इज द रेडियस ऑफ ए एंड फोर आर इज द डायमीटर ऑफ बी एंड देन अगेन आर इट इज द रेडियस ऑफ ए सो दिस विल बी द रिलेशन एंड दिस विल गिव अस सिक्स आर इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री ए डैश राइट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए डैश दैट विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स आर होल डिवाइडेड बाई रूट थ्री राइट सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट द पैकिंग फ्रैक्शन पैकिंग फ्रैक्शन इज दैट इज इक्वल टू टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ द स्फेयर्स फर्स्ट यू हेव टू फाइंड आउट सो यू कैन सी हेयर इफ वी कंसिडर द एटम्स ए विच आर प्रेजेंट एट द कॉर्नर द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ दैट विल बी वन सो द वॉल्यूम ऑक्यूपाइड बाई दैट विल बी फोर अपॉन थ्री पाई आर राइट प्लस वन विच इज इन द बॉडी सेंटर एंड द रेडियस ऑफ द एटम बी विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द बॉडी सेंटर हेयर द रेडियस इज टू आर सो द टोटल वॉल्यूम विल बिकम फोर अपॉन थ्री पाई आर क्यूब प्लस फोर अपॉन थ्री पाई इन टू टू आर होल क्यूब राइट सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट द टोटल वॉल्यूम द टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ द स्फेयर विच इज ऑक्यूपाइंग द यूनिट सेल विल बी फोर अपॉइंट थ्री पाई इट विल बी आर क्यूब प्लस ना इट विल बी एट आर क्यूब राइट and it is 4 upon 3 pi this is 9 r cube and it is cancelled so it is 3 and 4 multiplied by 3 will be equal to 12 so the total volume occupied will be equal to 12 pi r cube right so for packing fraction we have to divide it by the volume of the unit cell so packing fraction will be equal to 12 pi r cube whole divided by a dash cube now we have to find out the value of a dash so already we know that the value of a dash is 6r upon root 3 so let's put this value there 6r upon root 3 so it will be 12 pi r cube upon 6r upon root 3 whole cube right so if we solve it we will get it will be approximately 0.9 if you want to find out the percentage then percentage will be equal to 90% so it is the approximate percentage of the sphere which are occupying the unit cell so let's see which is our correct answer so let's move on to the answer and our answer is fourth so it is fourth let's move on to the next question so the next question is the compound that inhibits the growth of tumors means anti cancer drug so we all know that cisplatin is anti cancer drug so the solution we can say that 
if you draw the structure of cisplatin it will be platinum and ammonia ammonia it is a square planar structure so this is cisplatin right so our answer is option number 1 right let's move on to the next question